All right, gang, let's get started. For the tip of the week, we actually have a, another marketplace partner, Yakin Shaw from Business Labs and also BD Growth Suite. Both companies um, are from him. Uh, David, you and Yakin were working on this presentation. Uh, Yakin is a marketplace partner and it is a paid add on for sites. However, for many websites, I think this could be very useful. So if it's okay, uh, David and Yakin, I can pass it over to uh, you guys. You can tell us more about the member dashboard checklist. Yeah, I guess first we'll uh, we'll just go over kind of what the marketplace is, the uh, the third party developers, marketers, plugins that are available in there for anybody who's not familiar. I'm sure most of you are familiar with it, but if you're looking for basic website setup, design customizations, data importing, form editing, marketing services, or if you're looking to integrate any third party tools. You can find professionals in the marketplace for all that sort of stuff. All the developers and marketers that are listed in there have been approved by Brilliant Directories. And we also verify all of the uh, customer reviews that are left for everybody in there. So it is kind of a, a tight knit community in there. We do keep a close eye on everything. But Yakin has been, uh, Yakin was actually, I think, one of the first uh, third party developers listed in our marketplace. So he's been working with Brilliant Directories for a long time now, him and uh, his team members. So uh, Yakin, if you want to take it away, kind of give everybody some information on what you guys do and BD Growth Suite. Thanks, Jason, and thanks, everyone. So what BD Growth Suite is, I will just give you a recap on what Business Labs is. So Business Labs started its partnership with Brilliant Directories. Brilliant Directories onboarded us, welcomed us, and they taught us what Brilliant Directories is. We work with several hundreds of clients, uh, many several projects, small and big, and then we felt that let's have something that can just help this community what made us what we are today. So that's where when we were on a coffee meet, so an idea came in, start a company inside the company and the name of the company should be BD Growth Suite. So that only serves, helps, and there's so many other things that we have in plans only for brilliant directories website owners, this brilliant community. So that's BD Growth Suite. It's a flagship service for BD websites started all from business labs. The, the team that many of you would be using today, so the exact same team will be decentralized and they will be just doing BD and nothing else. That way we can probably help in a much stronger manner in the days to come. So that's us. Got you. So Business Labs is your original development and customization company. However, you've created BD Growth Suite to just be specifically a flagship for Brilliant Directories websites and, and solutions for Brilliant Directories websites, right? Correct. Gotcha. Okay, great. And tell us a little bit about where you're from and, and uh, your team that you work with. We have served and we are serving on a daily basis from clients from almost nine countries today, a few countries from Europe, the United States, Canada, the UK, and several other places. So this is our team and many people seeing this webinar would be interacting with many of our people directly. So this is our team. And this team of 20 plus people, how we operate is some of these people are working right here with me from my Indian office and a couple of people are there in US. So likewise, we try our best to manage the more time we stay online so that so that if there is a critical issue going on with any of the clients, so we are there at the old hours. Okay, fantastic. So, Actually, that was my question is being, being in India, how do you, you answered the question of how do you manage dealing with uh, users and uh, and clients around the world. I guess you're saying you have two shifts or multiple shifts that everyone's running in and, and assigned to people that they're working with for a specific part of the world? So yeah, we have two shifts going on in India and the couple of people working in the US, they're working their US shift. So we manage almost all the issues on the same day basis. Gotcha. All right, well, you guys are awesome. I've seen a lot of the sites you've worked on, some of the customizations you've done. However, you're now moving towards creating standalone products that can be added to a Brilliant Directories website. This first one being the member dashboard uh, checklist. Correct. So 
the idea came from was we worked with all the BD sites and 70% of the projects we work with, we are helping them in their launch. So a majority of them came back to us saying that the members are not filling up their profiles or, or it's hurting their SEO because if, if, if there's a page where only the company name is visible and the description is not visible or few other things are not visible, the less content equals to poor quality and it penalizes your service. Absolutely. Uh, more unique content and meaningful content, uh, even a member's profile page has, the better that page will rank in the search engines, as opposed to just being a name and a phone number like any yellow page uh, site. We want them to fill out that, that rich content to add, to make your website a, a bit more valuable with that extra unique content. So definitely we want members to fill out uh, and add as much unique information about their businesses or if it's not businesses, their personal profile, uh, whatever it might be. So definitely see value in, in helping members complete their profiles. We've done a webinar on helping members uh, complete their profiles through email marketing and educating them on how to use the site. Uh, this is a more visual way of uh, encouraging members to complete their profiles. I'll take it here to the next tab, Yakin, and you can tell us kind of what we're looking at at the animated GIF on the right and uh, a little bit more about the member dashboard checklist as well. So right, the main problem that we saw, we actually launched our own directories and since we are all in this business and we, we know many people in our industry, we launched so many Chamber of Commerce directories locally and we interacted on one-on-one -on -one basis with 600 odd members personally on the telephone that what made them not fill up everything uh, and their answer was when we asked them 25 questions they have answers to 12 of them and not 12 of them 80 percent of the times the members who are listed they their managers are filling up their profiles so if so we ask them when did you incorporate and the manager don't know they have to ask their boss and this happens with SMBs this happens with small businesses if our directory is all about small businesses and SMBs their manager who have started a job recently they will not have all the information up front to fill up a full profile so they have limited information today so we created this in such a way you have five minutes you have x y and z in the information Come, click, submit, go. Tomorrow, come back with more information, submit, and finish it. So they don't need 100% all the information right now to complete their profile. Yeah, yeah I think Sorry. you brought up a good point too. Just, um, you know, if you're asking for 25 pieces of information, um, something visual like this not only feels good for the member filling it out, but it's a good guide for what's left that's required or critical uh, to complete. If the website is just asking for name, phone number, a photo, and, and an about me section, perhaps you don't need something like this checklist. Maybe you, you do, uh, even for something that short, but I can definitely see when you're, we're looking to extract more data from our members and to encourage them to complete that critical data something visual like this and something that breaks it up into chunks can definitely be of value yes that is right and i just wanted to add so that anyone sees this webinar they understand the need uh, why profile pages the content on there is important please remember we have a website with home page search results page and 10 20 categories page results page so these are 25 pages, but the members will be 1,000. So 1,000 members and every member has their own unique URL. So 99% of their pages are members' profile pages. If we, are, if we have done right on this 99% of these pages, the content of it, we are done. Means we have done the great job. We have done 99% of the website rightly very good very very good truth um the member profile pages are usually the majority of the the pages on this site so if we're getting our members to complete their profiles 90 percent of the site's content is is in a good place and completed as well uh very good 
so what is so what is the process here so you said the process begins uh, the user starts entering their personal business name kind of like the animation we saw they just go step by step filling in the information you and the website owner Yakin have agreed to ask of the members right correct so the information that you're asking of the member you customize that for every website owner you work with it's not the same yes. for every website got it yes because every website is different some websites don't ask the same things they ask something completely differently so i think you've so, covered uh, most most of this but uh, we can just quickly bree breeze over this the the improved user experience uh, when they first log into their member dashboard i've seen that firsthand with the sample that that you sent me and we'll check that out in just, in just a second um, reducing the learning curve because all the information you need is in one place rather than going to those different tabs like the contact details tab uh, upload your profile photo tab etc it's all in one organized list and because when we have that SEO value the website will thrive yeah and thrive. website will thrive correct right. so what we do we do with a personalized meeting with every website owner because their website is different and we understand their priorities that what they want in the checklist five or ten things or 15 things and in what order and we prioritize the data points we customize our existing tool to suit their requirements okay so kind of like an onboarding call with the website owner figure out what they want included in the checklist um, put those in the checklist and then you provide ongoing support uh, for for yeah. whatever you develop yes okay great yeah I think I think the playful user experience makes it easy to digest for the members but I really liked your answer the, the end game here is better SEO because when you're using a tool like this you actually can maybe ask your members for more information than in the regular format that they're currently inputting their information basically users get what's called form fatigue uh, so if we can liven it up a bit uh, break it up break it down split it up uh, whatever you do the, that will allow us to create longer forms gather more information and then have that more unique content on the profile pages uh, which inherently not is good not as, is not only good for the visitors who come to the site but google and other search engines love that extra unique uh, content uh, so Yakin was kind enough I mean this is pretty straightforward here but I think what's cool is if we see this in action uh, Yakin was kind enough to give me uh, some login access to a sample member um, and to go through this process uh, so we'll just dive right into it to see what uh, this checklist uh, the member dashboard checklist looks like uh, and how it can work I created a free sign up a member account on this site and in my main dashboard, I am presented with uh, these checklist items. So I've already verified my email address. Uh, now, normally, if we go to the contact details uh, form here, the, lo the long-winded one, um, which is fine. It works. It's been working great. Uh, it works fine. Uh, this is, I would be presented with all the information I need to enter, uh, my first name, last name, my location. Uh, I can scroll down further, my website links, et cetera. Uh, so it's a medium-sized form here, uh, but what you've done is you've actually broken this up into smaller steps. So the contact details uh, is just that. It's it's just my name here. We can do that. We can do Jason Inc. And we can do founder, and we can do save changes. And do I need to close yes, this? Yes, you can close okay. it. Oh, yeah. okay. And close the actually, guys, I haven't gone through this yet, so I'm I'm, I'm experiencing it for the first time uh, with you guys. Um, okay, so I've, I've completed that and I've got a validating check mark. Everyone loves seeing green check marks. And I can, in the same page, I can upload uh, my profile photo. Um, let's go ahead and, and do that. Let's see if we have uh, an image we can do. I got a bunch of sample images here. We'll just do uh, this express member registration. We'll say this is our profile photo. okay great and update your brand links okay so these are all the social media links here right. just... if you can just copy one of the link right there in the example and copy paste the same sure sure okay and i'll go ahead and save the changes okay and you have a view more button here so, so yeah. okay so here you were asking for many other items and this can be 
as long as, of a list or as short as a list as you and the website owner so what doing, decide on, right? What we are doing in this site, what we are doing in this site, we ask them the first thing, first five things. And the moment they complete those five things, those five things comes at the bottom, the next five things comes on the first few. Oh, interesting. And these are small nuances you can decide on with the website owner on how it behaves. Yes. Okay. Let's see, I put a link here. It didn't go, it didn't check that one off. So please put the same thing on the Facebook and LinkedIn. Yeah. Ah, okay, got it. Now for That's this it. website, we would have done something differently. So it means we can go crazy with this. You so now what happens is, yeah, <laughs> we can go crazy with this. Okay, great. I love the visual. I love that it's all in one place. I think it was very straightforward. Is there anything else you want to you want to mention about this little demo here? You know, one thing we can even go and uh, I mean, many of the websites we have worked with they do. Let's say they are a property website where people can post their properties or classified sites or content sites. So in the checklist, we can even add things like click here to add your first content and experience that feature for yourself. Click here to post your first job post and experience that. So what happens and if we do this with three members, the moment they experience, they will feel that we are a complete website because all the parts, different separate parts of the websites are working and functional. Fantastic, we have less profile abandonment and things like that and we're immediately engaging with them. We did do a webinar on how to engage more users in their member dashboard and this is a great complement to some of those ideas.